So I just saw this video on the Irish Times website in which uh, the fellow you can see here, James Conway, alleges that Apple owes something called Ireland between 12 and 14 billion euros. Now, I'm not sure I'm too clear about what he means by Ireland. I mean, obviously, he doesn't mean the physical landmass because physical landmasses aren't really too concerned about money at all. So I'm presuming he actually means by Ireland the Irish state. So um, my question is, is has the Irish state or anybody else got any evidence that Apple owes them any money? I mean, is there an unpaid invoice? Perhaps some wage checks they didn't uh, fulfill? I mean, that's a lot of pints of Guinness. So, I mean, something as serious as that and such a large amount really requires a preponderance of good evidence. Of course, in reality, there's no evidence that Apple owes anybody any money being presented. But what we do have is an angry man who's unhappy about his situation in life. And, you know, I fully understand uh, the difficulties of not having a lot of money and, uh, you know, having to work very hard to make ends meet and so on and so forth. But that's really not a reason to have a go at IT people, um, at scientists and the like, you know, people that uh, enable me to speak to relatives halfway across the planet, fly out to beautiful locations for an affordable sum of money, invent medicines. Yeah, actually, I think the people at Apple and other intelligent people who apply themselves to bringing great things to our quality of life, I think they actually deserved that money. They earned it. They produced something useful for society. And they got rewarded for doing so. They got, they got rewarded for improving everybody's quality of life. And, you know, it's scientists and technicians that uh, probably built the device that you're using, or designed it at least, to uh, record this video. So I think you should shut the fuck up, James Conway. I think you're entitled. And I think you're trying to hold other people responsible for your screw-ups. And, I mean, he, he goes on about teachers at school. Well, that's one of those government programs, you know, that uh, would probably receive these 12 billion euros. Uh, yeah, my school experience was crap as well. Pretty crap. But it's no excuse not to get somewhere in this world. Uh, one of the richest businessmen in the city of London had a pretty violent and rough upbringing. I don't think he got any qualifications from school. Uh, but he didn't let it get in the way of realising his dreams and doing what he wanted to do and achieve what he wanted to achieve. So this is this is a, a lot of belly aching here uh, and emotional stuff. Um, you need to look at yourself, Mr James Conway. And if you want changes and improvements in your life, don't wait around for um, some taxation or some, some government ransoms. Anyway, that's all I've got to say, so thanks for listening.